Hey everybody, this is Julie at Two Chicks Quilting, and it is Sunday, uh, and I came out to Missy's Quilting Studio to install her hand wheel on her frame. And so I wanted to do a quick little video of how to install your hand wheel. So if you have one of these little guys sitting around that you've purchased at an education event or in your uh, local quilt shop that you have not installed on your machine, we're gonna show you how to do that. And we're also going to talk about why we would want that hand wheel on our front pole. So uh, to get started, I just want to explain that we are doing this in uh, the standard view. This is Missy's machine is set up for standard view. So if your machine is clear view, it's going to be a little bit differently uh, just as, because the poles are used for different, um, uh, different than the um, standard view. Okay. So what we want to do is install this hand wheel on our front pole so that it allows us to roll our quilt to the back, roll it to the front. It just makes it easier rather than using your hands to grip the pole and roll it. Um, if you're like me, you have some pain in your thumb sometimes, so it does make it a lot easier. So what you're going to need is a couple of tools and your machine's going to come with this little guy here. I don't use this one because it's a little harder on my hands to use. So I've gotten a socket and I have the long socket and a, a ratchet. And I will tell you what size this is. If I can see on here, of course, it is not printed, but you can figure out which socket size you need. Um, you, your hand will kit you need to make sure you purchase the handle kit that goes with your frame. So if you have a Studio or a Studio 2 frame, you'll need the one that says Studio, Studio 2. If you have a Gallery or a Gallery 2, it's going to say Gallery or Gallery 2 there. The reason is your poles are different sizes, so this one is going to fit your Studio frame. And that is all you need. You kit, the little kit does come with some instructions. It's going to give you step-by-step -step instructions. It's going to give you uh, a little bit of a, a little picture here you might need to refer to uh, when putting all your pieces back together. And so I guess let's get started. So I am going to, first of all, pull out my front pole here. And I'm going to take off the little rubber protector that's on the end. And I'm going to loosen up this nut that's on the end. And it's just going to come right off. I don't want to drop this and make a loud bang, so I'm going to set it down. And then all my pieces come off. And we're going to need all of these again here in a minute. So I will show you how to put those back in order. Don't panic if they come out of order. Now, getting this off is a challenge. Let's see what the instructions tell us to do here. Um, So you're going to, this is going to push down in there. Let's just get a, hold on. We're going to get a little tool. That screw went down in there. Don't panic. This is going to pull out. Now, Missy, let's lower this. We may have to pick the other <laughs> end up. <laughs> We're trying to do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, so you now have all your pieces here. Now, you're not going to use these two pieces that came out. We're going to just set those aside, but I want to explain to you how your poles work. So when this part goes down inside your pole, it's going to be kind of like this. And as this tightens up and you tighten the bolt on the end, this pushes and expands this part right here, making it fit really tight inside your poles, which is very, very, very important. You want this to fit really tight inside your poles. So notice that the bolt that comes with your hand wheel is a lot longer to accommodate putting that on there. So 
The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to install our um, hand wheel on there. So I'm gonna take this bolt off. Notice all of these little pieces that went with your first one. You're just gonna leave those aside. All you need is this that came off of your um, pole. So you can refer to the instructions right here. It shows you the order of all the little parts. So if you drop it and it all comes apart, don't panic because you can easily put that all back together. So you have- Let me talk about your little table you have set up here. Oh. It's a good- My little, little cardboard. <laughs> set up to hold all of my pieces while I'm doing this. So we have in order, I'm gonna take these off. You have your inside your pole, your outside pole end. This here is going to fit all snugly down on top on the end of your pole. Then we're gonna put our ratchet wheel on there. Then our large washer, our V bearing. Let's turn it over here where it has the actual hand wheel in there. Then you're going to take your hand wheel. Now this little part in the middle comes out. So it may, you may struggle with it just a little bit because it will come out and you'll have to put it back together. So notice your screw goes back and forth. It, you know, it comes out, so be careful. Then your small nut, or your small washer, and then your lock nut. Just thread that on there as lightly as you can because you want space. You don't want to expand this part any more than you have to, okay? So we're gonna slide this now down into the end and we wanna make sure that your pole fits snugly all the way down in there. So now I'm gonna finger tighten it. Then I'm gonna take my ratchet. We were trying not to tear her room totally apart. So now I like to use the ratchet because if you notice, this handle is gonna get in your way if you have that other little tool. So the ratchet works really good. You want this as tight as you can get it. And here we go, we're gonna have to put some muscle in it. It is a good idea, if you've had your machine a while, to go back and check these and make sure that they're good and tight. Reason being, if they're not, this part here will slip and then that will cause your pole not to stay uh, tight on your, when you're quilting. Okay, we're gonna drop it back down in there, Missy. And I'm gonna take your little protective cover, put it back on the end of that bolt, and it is done. That's all there is to it. So you have all these parts left over. Um, I would suggest holding on to these. You never know when you might need them. And um, then we're going to show you really fast. I'm going to put these all together here and move this board. We're going to show you the, how cool it is to have this extra hand wheel. So now, if you've ever loaded a back, and we're going to show you here. So see how this is sagging down here a little bit on one end? It's really nice to be able to roll, and Missy is in a tight room, so. Notice how we can roll all the way to the front. And now you can roll it all the way back to the back without having to, oops. <laughs> Our red snapper got caught on the machine. We'll fix that later. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to straighten this up now in a minute when we go back to the front. But notice how it's taken that sag out, right? So it's tightening that fabric up as you roll it along. Now we want it all back down here on this front pole. 
So we're just gonna roll it. Notice I don't have my clamps on there. We're gonna make sure it stays good and straight. We don't have any wrinkles in it as we go. The hand wheel is much easier to use. Also, mm -hmm. if you do, yeah, rather than sitting here doing like this and straining your hands, your hand will make it a lot easier to load these pullbacks. Pop that red snapper back into there. And now Missy's ready to load her top and get to quilting, but I'm gonna lock this pole so we can show them. Now, when that's tight, see how flat that is? It does wonders on getting that quilt back loaded really good and flat. Um, another thing is if you're doing custom quilting, like I'm working on a quilt right now and I can use this hand wheel, to roll that quilt back and forth from your take-up leader to your front pole once it's off of the top pole. So anyway, stay tuned for one more video today. We're going to install her bungee grippers and we're going to do that here in just a minute. But um, I hope this video helps you if you have that hand wheel and you need to install it on your frame. Bye.